your first alert weather. Again, it's a great day for you to download that weather app of ours, KIFI, wherever fine apps are sold. It's absolutely free, and we'd love to keep in touch with you as temperatures begin to drop on us this week. We're going to go from the 80s today. Some of you will see 20 degrees for tomorrow night. Here's a live look into the Teton Pass and Jackson Hole with some brightness that will be rising and shining as you head out the door this morning, just know that uh, we're at the end of the month and uh, temperatures around here, it'll be sunny with some patchy smoke uh, moving on out at about 7.30 this morning. Uh, it'll be about 49 degrees as you hop in the truck and you'll see some warmth into the afternoon. It will be dry and the cool down that is coming will shake you to the bones. Temperatures this morning are chilly. We're below freezing into the parks at about 27 in IP. It's 33 in Jackson in the 40s uh, down the I-15 corridor. And that blue area that you're seeing is a newly issued freeze watch. I'll talk more about that here in just a second. But today, we've got that fire weather warning that is in effect until the evening hours with some windy, dry, and warm conditions. We'll see gusts of up to 20 miles an hour this afternoon. As we get a cold front in here tomorrow, 30 mile an hour winds are expected by about lunchtime. It's chilly this morning in Idaho Falls to start with. It feels like it's 38 with that little bit of a push from the north and west. Hazy sunshine for the day today and 80s. There's the front coming in as we get into the pistol tip of Idaho tomorrow morning. The winds will be the main concern for a lot of us. There'll be some uh, sporadic shower chances, mainly rain and cooler temperatures. We're not going to get out of the 50s for tomorrow. This afternoon's gusts will exceed 20 miles an hour, especially for the northern parts of southeastern Idaho. We get into tomorrow at lunchtime and into the early morning hours even. It's going to be a 30 mile an hour sustained wind there and gust beyond that. So pretty brisk as we get this cold front through here and back behind it, whammo, some chilly air. There's that freeze watch. We'll talk about that here in a second in our forecast. But for today, sunny, warm, a little smoke around. It'll be in the lower 80s for McCammon and Preston. You go to Old Faithful, it'll be 71 today, mid-70s into Jackson and Moose. And it'll be right around 80 degrees into Rexburg with 40 degrees overnight, a little cooler at the parks, 82 for Salmon and Chalice or so, mid-70s into Butte and about 81 for the site today, pushing about 83 degrees into Pocatello and that freeze watch. And that, that, that is for tomorrow night. So I've labeled that for you. That's for Tuesday evening into Wednesday morning. So you can see it on the eight day forecast. We'll get down into the 40s again tonight and that cold front comes through and really pops you with 58 degrees tomorrow, freezing for Tuesday night and into Wednesday morning, and even cooler temperatures as that cold air settles in for midweek, and we're still below freezing. So it's time to find the kids' jackets. Where did you put them? Are they in the back of Dad's truck? Did you leave them at Grandma's house uh, when it warmed up all of a sudden? 83 for the afternoon, breezy, and a 50 tonight, then only 50-degree temperatures, so not much of a change from the overnight low tonight into tomorrow. Chilly, chilly conditions with 30s overnight. We ramp back up into more milder conditions for the weekend. Blackfoot, sun will be up shortly. It'll be 81 today with some smoky sunshine and 44 tonight, mid to upper 50s for Tuesday and Wednesday with freezing conditions overnight. Rexburg, same deal. 80 degrees today, so warm, breezy, and hazy. And then 28s for Tuesday and Wednesday night. Get ready. Put some gasoline in your long johns and find the ripcord. Salmon, 82, sunny and warm today. And then good chances of showers for you as you are at the top end of that front. Jackson, it'll be hazy in 79 and then below freezing for the next several days into the weekend. In fact, we'll keep it below freezing through the period and we won't get back towards 70 until about Saturday. Here's your question of the day. What dumb reason do you have for a scar on your body? 534-9957. 534-9957. Did you accidentally sit on a curling iron? <laughs> that would be a bad one. That's, that's not good. That would leave a mark. Yeah. All, right. All right, thank you, Jeff.